Breaking news, oh, my people showing card on die, yo. Oh. Hmm. According to waiting the right to oh, the same, the, the renowned researcher and former provost of College of Health Science of Obafemi Owolowo University has died. According to statement by his family, Mr. Shoyinka died in the early hours of Tuesday at his home, his hometown in Kukumanda village, Ibadan, Oyo State. He was 85 years. Mr. Shoyinka was the younger brother of the Nobu laureate and professor of cooperative literature, Wole Shoyinka. All right, my people, now welcome to Morning GIS TV. I greet on according to our time. My people, my people, how on a day? This na uh, Wolo Shoyinka, junior brother, when they call Femi Shoyinka, now they say Ikbeme. Me kuna no get it wrong. Me kuna no think say na Wolo Shoyinka na Ikbeme. Wolo Shoyinka can sing the gidigba. He's strong as gidigba. Nothing they do. He's not shaking. He's healthy. He's fine. So, Mr. Shoyinka was a younger brother of Noble Laureate and professor of cooperative uh, literature, Wolo Shoyinka. The Shoyinka family of Ake Azara Ogun State has announced the passing of their father, grandfather, grandfather great grandfather, brother, uncle, professor Femi Shoyinka, which occurred in the early hours of Tuesday, 14th June 2002, at his hometown in Kukumanda village, Ibadan, Oyo State. Born in 1970. Uh, born in 1937, Professor Femi Shoyinka received a medical degree in medicine and surgery from University of Head Badge, 1964, and Doctor of Medicine, MD degree from that is MD degree from the same university in 1965. He specialized and practiced as a dermatologist venerologist and allergologist at the University of Gensin in 1969. In 1972, he obtained a Master of Public Health degree from Herzliya Medical School, Israel. He worked in the academic field for 30 years, holding various positions from Chief Medical Director to Dean of the Faculty of Health Science and the Provost of College of Health Science of Obafemi Awolowo University, Ileife, Nigeria. He was also involved in extensive research work on tropical skin disease and sexually transmitted infection in collaboration with the federal government, international donor agency, and organizations such as the World Bank, the British Council and the International Development Research Center, Canada. He pioneered several researches in the field of HIV AIDS and worked as consultants to various international and local agencies, including the World Health Organization the, and the Nigeria Federal Ministry of Health, based on his extensive experience on the subject in various parts of the country. <coughs> Professor Femi was in the forefront of mitigating the Im impact of HIV AIDS in, several, in Nigeria by translating the outcome of his research into cl clinical practice. He also impacted significantly not only in the lives of numero numerous individuals and families living with the disease but also on the nation as a whole initiated the ambassador of hope program in nigeria encouraging people living with hiv aids to speak up thereby bringing the much needed public awareness to the disease at a time when knowledge was low and stigma was high he also demonstrated technical knowledge and was involved with many other HIV AIDS related program program, including HIV AIDS prevention, care and support, prevention of mother to child transmission, program voluntary counseling and testing, and home based care for PLWHALS in Nigeria. 
Subsequently, he contributed significantly to capacity building of indigenous organization across this geopolitical zone of Nigeria through his non-governmental organization, New Initiative for the Enhancement of Life and Health, previously known as Network on Ethnic Stroke Human Rights Law, HIV AIDS Prevention Support and Care. He was a past president of Society for AIDS in Africa and successful coordinator, coordinated the International Conference on AIDS and STD in Africa in Abuja, Nigeria in Nine in the year 2005. He is survived by his brother, children, grandchildren, and great grandchildren. Burial arrangement will be announced by the family. All right, my people. This now will Sheinka younger brother. When they call Femi um Sheinka, when I don't hear about what he don't contribute for the society, the role where he don't play for to make sure say. This um, a fantastic disease when it be say during the early 90s, when it be say it really show Niger pepper. A lot of people lost their love loved ones through this uh, this whole thing. But person like this um professor when it be say he be advocate for all this kind of stuff, it really creates the awareness. And I don't hear everything when we say they say it do. Yes, my people know. The family, the family, they go announce when they go burial. The man died at the at eighty five. That means Olisha Inka go don't reach that kind eighty. They go they pursue ninety now. Now see, so my people know how now see this whole matter because when I when I see this whole news, a lot of people think say as I put the uh, Olisha uh, Inka picture there and I him not be him. When I no mistake it, and I am brother. That is why I put the picture so a very big law this kind of people when it be say they reach this kind of age then get vast experience i just pray that uh, god will give the family to the fortune the, to bear the loss because uh -huh, now very um a good hands that is why they say people when they read book when book na book not be this kind of school when they go these days all this one and they read book eh? read and reach where book end Yes, the guy is wearing there. Yeah. Now, we will show you in brother. So, my people, I'm going to bring an update according to how good they go. In case you never subscribe to this channel, I better make you hit the subscribe button. Make you click the bell notification for all my wonderful restoring subscribers. As soon as I do, we go bless you and I have a nice day. Make that drop on a comment for comment section how I feel about this whole thing. May his gentle soul rest in peace. Bye.